All right, see, this is why it's just good to let the police do their job instead of people on the internet trying to play detective, trying to piece together so-and-so and who did what. Because the Houston police, they just announced who uh, Takeoff's killer was. And they're saying his name is uh, Patrick Xavier Clark. Uh, he's 33 years old, and that's for the person that they charge him with the murder of Takeoff. Now, with the internet and people, uh, you know, rushing to be first, rushing to try and pin this body on somebody, man, y'all could have got, you know, so many uh, countless people that had nothing to do with this, who did not fire no gun, did not fire no trigger hurt. Because the internet, you know, the, the people that they put the murder on, it did not look like this guy. I mean, people are trying to uh, uh, play police, play detective, using uh, six, seven second video clips from a, a blurry phone, bad angle, you can't really see too much. People slowing it down, speeding it up, trying to piece together who was where and who was what one whole time. Houston Police Department, from the um, the venue, the bowling venue, and, and through the mall, uh, they probably have some camera up in the sky, high definition, 4K, and they can see everything that's going on, and they can piece together who exactly was there instead of, you know, a, a 15 second TMZ video that people were trying to like put out together, like. It's the same thing that kind of happened with uh, PMB Rock and his murder. Man, people were so quick to put the blame on his girl. And then the whole time, we find out that um, the people that ended up taking out PMB Rock, yo, they already were at the Roscoe's and Chicken and Waffles. Like, they were already there. They didn't oh, see her give up the drop on, 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 his, on, on her location, on her Instagram. And then uh, they, they saw that, and they were just like, oh, okay, let's pull up there because we know PMB Rock's going to be there, and he has all his jury. Like, nah, that wasn't the case. But when it comes to the apologies and the, um, the retractions, you know, nobody's ever going to put that, that type of stuff out. They're just going to, you know, push that to the side and just keep it pushing. But, man, can you imagine if somebody would have got hurt behind one of these allegations, you know, pinning take off a murder on somebody that had absolutely nothing to do with it and they didn't do it? Like, especially when you're dealing with a rapper as big as Takeoff, man, you know how bad people want to. Uh, uh, do something to you know protect that man's image to protect that man's legacy like you don't even got to even say too much you just say the word and man there's going to be people lining up throughout even houston who not even from atlanta that would be like all right man we gotta we gotta let folks know that yo this ain't allowed this ain't acceptable like we don't go like that we don't roll like that like it's just sad because man that easily could have been somebody else's life that had absolutely nothing to do with all this man so um just let the police do their job let them do their homework. They got all the time in the world. There's no statute of limitations on murder. So it don't matter if this case would have took till next year to solve. If it would have took three months, six months, who cares? As long as they get that individual. But people want to be first. People rushing to put out statements and um, pin the body on this person, that person. Like, And now we're getting all the information that's finally all coming out. And I repeat, nobody, nobody had any idea it was this man. So... Let the police do their job. Let them bring in one person at a time, one witness at a time. Once they figure out, okay, all right, he was there, he was there. Okay, this is what this person wants to give up. Work out a deal with this guy and that guy. And then once they finally get the right person, boom, let them do their job, man. So obviously, you know, condolence to go out to take off and his family, uh, Offset, uh, Quavo, the whole nine, like the whole QC family because... I mean, if you saw that funeral, man, it looked like everybody uh, that was anybody in the world, not just Atlanta, they came out and, and they came to pay their respect. So, you know, that's really my take on this whole conversation, man. Uh, like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.